Let me show you what to do if you need to wait. Let me show you how to wait. If you don't know how to wait, you'll move in the flesh. I guarantee you, you fail the test of time. You lose the opportunity to become a precious stone. Are you there? Oh, you're not with me. I've had visions. I've had visions. And my visions are in a progression. I see what heaven wants to do when heaven begins to look for men. Yes, so I see it in a progression. If heaven is trying to disqualify me, I will know. I will see it. Then I will ask, what do I lack? Then they will open my eyes to something that I've neglected. Then I will, I will beg God. I will fast. I will beg. Let me show you how to wait. God will never endorse a man that doesn't pass the test of time. Many, are you with me? A young man came to me and he wanted to me, to, me to be his spiritual father. He started a church somewhere in one of the, uh, close to Abuja, you know, and he's doing something there. He wanted me to provide oversight. That's great. Then I started checking him in the spirit. Because you know, you don't accept such responsibility if you don't know the person from the law. Huh. I started checking him in the spirit. Then I saw that the guy began to do that ministry two years before heaven sanctioned him. That means it's the hands of Uzzah. God cannot bless that in his doing. Meanwhile, there is a semblance as though he is doing well. He has about 60 people that is preaching to every Sunday morning somewhere. Then I said, okay, if, if, let me hear his message. Then I will know if he has a message. Then I listened and I found that I, he didn't stay long enough to receive a message. So what he preaches is that he goes here, gets this one, get this one, get this one, gets this one, and then he doesn't have a message from God. That means he's not sent. Meanwhile, he took off like a tornado. And now that he has gathered 60 members, he has come to include me in the confusion. Because he can buy a microphone. He believes he's a preacher. Do you know how long I was in the cave? Oh my God, you will never know. I, f I went, I finished Bible school in 1994. Calculate it. Somebody calculate it. What? 20 what? 29 years ago. Twenty-nine years ago. We were taught by the best teachers of those days. Twenty-nine years ago. And after doing the Bible school and I, I was coming out, I felt I had the capacity to detonate two intercontinental ballistic missiles that, that would take over two cities. Then the Lord now said, you are qualified for my school now. I said, glory to God. That school took 10 years. I was already a graduate for God's sake. I said, see, can, you are wasting time. Let's go. So, so perishing. He said, is it my own business you want to do like this? Are you in a hurry to do? Then I realized that it was flesh. For he that believes shall not make haste. The process is designed to kill the haste that is locked on your soul on the account of the wearing of the fall. A young man married a lady. They married, he was 25, the lady was 23. He said, let them marry early. The lady died three years later. Listen to me. Another one married at 33, lady. And she lived to become 97. Meanwhile, the one that died, when she married, we'll be looking at the one that is 30 something and say, where's your God? May you never compare yourself with the next person on the line. I was in the cave for another 10 years. Then I got, I, I got an invitation and God allowed me to preach and I went there and I opened the scriptures. The people marveled at the word of God. Then after I finished preaching, he said, this is just a test. Go back to the added additional five years. 
in these five years, I finished the Bible how many times until I knew, I knew some scriptures up heart, not because I tried to cram it. So I know the meaning of Genesis. I know the meaning of Exodus. I know the meaning of Leviticus because I studied it. When you invite me to preach, the problem is not what to say. The problem is what is God saying? If it's what to say, I can keep you here for days. My problem is what is God saying? The, the, way, the only reason why I could learn that approach was because once upon a time in the process of waiting, God destroyed the haste that was in my soul. At that point, it was no longer about me. It was no longer about my agenda. It was no longer about how good a preacher I was. It was no longer about how many revelations I could access. I had, I had stayed in the cave until I, I outstayed the desire to perform. What is left of me now is to be a messenger of the Spirit of Christ. When His Spirit speaks, then I speak. The reason why God will need to defeat haste is because you will say many things that God did not send you to say. Who among us is able to pass the test of time? Until his word came, the word of the Lord tried him. Ephesians chapter 15, chapter 5, verse Verse 14. Wherefore he said, Awake thou that sleepest and arise from the dead, and Christ will give thee light. Next verse. See then that he walked circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise. So, how do you walk circumspectly? You walk with caution. You know, I told you the story of a man. He was the chairman of a board of interviewers. They were interviewing young graduates to give them jobs in a certain company. And because he was a director in that company, he was the chairperson in the, the interviewing board. So the secretary of the chairman ran in and told him, your son is outside. He said, no, I don't have any son. My wife only gave birth to three ladies, three daughters. The secretary laughed. He said, I'm sure that your son is outside. He said, okay. Let him come. Who we'll interview him first? The guy came into the hall and he was the exact replica of the man. He said, who is your mother? Mentioned her name. He said, who did your mother say is your father? He said, she said, copper, copper. Now, he, he did not, when he saw the result of the way he walked, he, he denied it because he was not walking circumspectly. He came in, in contact with what he produced. He denied his product because what? He was not walking cautiously. That actions have consequences. He didn't know that theory. He said, don't walk as a fool. Walk as a wise man. Hallelujah. That pressure that came upon you to commit immorality. Do you know if you ignore that pressure, you will not die? Are you aware of it? Ignore it. Oh, if, if, if a young man comes and tells you, oh my God, do you know you are beautiful? I believe that's not the first time you're hearing that. So you can ignore it. See then that he walk seconds back. Not as fools, never to regret your actions, but as wise. Then he then tells us how to do it. Redeeming the time because the days are evil. Someone help me quickly. If your Bible is an electronic Bible like my own, click on time. If you click on time, you'll find a Greek word called kairos. 
K-A-I-R-O-S. You must understand that Greek language is wider in terms of capacity. It um, lends itself for deeper expression than English language. So there are four words for power in Greek language. There are two words for another in Greek language. There are In my recent discovery, I found there are six words for power in Greek language. There are two words for, for time in Greek language. So we have the chronos time and we have the kairos time. So when we say chronos, it is from chronos we have chronological. When we say kairos time, we mean an opportune time. A time that is tied to an opportunity. How many of you went to boarding school? When was dining time in the evening? 6 p.m. That's Kairos time. Something happens that time. If for any reason you are not in the dining hall by 6 p.m., you will have a bad story to tell. And that's why the, the Kairos, whenever the Kairos time comes, you need to redeem the opportunity that comes with the time. There's something you need to do. And the reason why it says we need to redeem the Kairos, he gave us the reason, is because the days, <laughs> oh my God, Jesus. How many of you still remember in the book of Joel chapter 2, beginning from verse 25 to 28, God began to speak about a season of restoration. Okay, give me Joel chapter 2, 25. And I will restore to you the years that the locusts have eaten, the canker worm and the caterpillar and the palmer worm and my great army which I send among you. Please, hold on, hold on. Do you realize that these caterpillars, they don't eat grass. What do they eat? Yes. Yes. And you also realize that these creatures are itemized in descending order of their devouring ability. The one that devours more is the locust. So we can now tell the story of destinies. And what was it that devoured in their lives? When a locust feasts on your destiny, it takes away five years, lumps of five years. I, I don't have time, I don't have time. But you see, are you there? They need, the reason why we need to redeem the time is because the days are evil. There are demons that want to prey on your allotment to distract you, to apply your time to be achieving something that is not consistent with your destiny. And that's the reason why we need to redeem the chaos. Because what? The days are evil. I remember my friend on campus here. He fell in love. Is it, is it bad to fall in love? Please, no. We were in the heat of something. There was an action that God had staged and God was calling us into the place of prayer. And he knew it, very anointed. But when we begin to float in prayer, that's when that, the lady will come and, 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 and wave at him. He will abandon us in prayer and go with the lady. After six years of cutting, he went to camp, her camp, campsite during NYSC to kneel down with a flower to propose. The, the girl now said no. Now, that was a, it was a, a, a caterpillar and feasted on his destiny. I proposed standing. I don't know what happens this day. She rejected and all his investment for six years, for which he did not master the life of prayer, was lost. A caterpillar had invaded. The reason why we will need to redeem the time is because the days. Sometimes it's the it's, it's, it's the palmer worm. It's the palmer worm. It's, it's the quiet worm. It doesn't eat so much per time. The one that makes you lazy to pray. So you waste. It picks up just little by little. But when you accumulate it over 10 years, you will see that a great chunk of possibility has been denied. Let me round up. So the Bible says that we need to redeem the Kairos. And we have said that the Kairos is the opportune time. Do you remember destiny? Huh? There are windows of time for performance. You know, that's what I said. 
that in the counsel of God, the wide strokes of the counsel of God, the administration of God um, fructifies events, fructifies performances consistent with windows of time. And that's why the Bible says that for every purpose, there is a time. For every purpose under heaven, there is a a season. It is that season that God wants to bet purpose in your life that your word is supposed to come, the manifestation of the things that he has told you is supposed to come, that demons will fight that window. You will need to redeem it because the days are there. Verse 17 he says, Wherefore be ye not unwise, but understanding what the will of the Lord is. This is how to survive the chrono season. You see, what happens is we have a long chrono season and then a little window for the kairos purpose is here. Are you there? Then there's another long chrono season. Then there's a little window here for the kairos. These little windows are the ones that you need to redeem. When you plant corn on your farm, it takes four months for the corn to get ripe. But harvest is just two weeks. That harvest season is what the demons will fight. They may not even fight the corn. The corn will blossom. But when they know that there's an opportune time for you, they will contend with you. If you are willing to be distracted, they will sway you away and you will miss that window. Verse 18 gives us the secret of how to spend the chronos in such a way that when the kairos comes, you'll be able to recognize it. You see, if you are waiting and you are expecting something, there is a great possibility for you to become weary and worn out because it's taking too much time for performance to find expression. Have you ever experienced what I'm talking about? Now what you do is that you need to know how to manage your chronos well, the chronos time. And the way to manage it, you will need to go high. But you say, don't go high with wine, but be filled with the Holy Ghost. So what we do in the chronos time, in expectation of the Kairos season where God will bring performance, is that we, while away time praying, in the spirit praying in the Holy Ghost when you while away time praying in the spirit the devil will not be able to prompt you to act in the flesh you'll be strong in the time of your waiting you'll be strong in the time of your expectation just like a woman that is pregnant you know you are going to deliver all right it is there are two options it's either you surrender to the weight of the pregnancy and become a creature of pregnancy or you decide to become strong as you carry that load, strong in your spirit, man, you'll be able to even peep into the destiny of the child that you're carrying. They say, be not drunk with wine. You will need to go high in order for you to survive the long wait, but not with wine. You need to be filled with the spirit again and 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 again, and again until your word comes. When you leave off a season of waiting ordained by God and you were able to survive until your word comes, oh, it will be easy for you to believe God. You will know something about the faithfulness of God that will make it easy for you to trust God when you hear God speak. But a lot of people in the house of God that they take off like tornadoes, they cannot subject themselves to the protocols of God's uh, um, um, performances so they never become precious stones in the house of God. Who told you that all you came here to do is just that marriage? No, the waiting, the waiting is supposed to make you fit for what will come after the marriage is established. Do you know how long I waited? It was when God was releasing me from the cave after 15 years of waiting that he now said to me, raise a remnant for me in this generation. After 15 years of waiting, I'd finished Bible school a long time. If it's the, the scriptures, they were at my fingertips. But he didn't give me the opportunity to preach anything to anybody. I was in the cave. It was in that cave that the Lord spoke about striving for the rebirth of apostolic Christianity. Please help me tell your neighbor again, are you like milk? Or you are like wine? Redeeming the time because the days are evil. Remember, he that believes, don't help God. The God that has spoken to you is able to bring his word to God. Don't help him. Did he speak to you? If he has not yet spoken, seek his face 
and get him to commit himself by a promise. Our God does not fly. But men fail the test of time and they do not have the opportunity to be named from Zion as precious stones. God will not use an ordinary stone. He doesn't use bricks. He doesn't use blocks. He uses precious stones. You will become Jasper before he will build with you. You become Sardine stone before he will build with you. You become Onyx stone before he will build with you. And what determines what kind of stone you become is the process that you were subjected to that you survived. It's not in this lecture I will show you the different types of stone, precious stone. The ones that were used to build in the new Jerusalem. And anytime you see Jasper, it means the appearance of God. I will show you the meaning of each stone. And that's why our anointings eventually becomes different because there are some people, the Jasper people, they have capacity to, to, to launch the effect of the presence of God. They can launch it. We need to go to the book of Revelation chapter 4 for me to define Jasper. We need to define Onyx stone. These are the kinds of stones with different refractive indexes that God uses to build so that your life will dispense the light of God in a unique way. Can you be on your feet? We have a lot to study on this matter. We have a lot to study. Some will come in the likeness of sapphire. Some will come in the likeness of diamond. That's what they have become. That's their similitude that they sustain because of the process that they survive. Will you cave in under intense temperature? Will you cave in under intense pressure? It means you do not number among the jewels of God. He says, I will spare them as a man spared his own son that served him and thou shalt return and discern between the righteous and the wicked and between him that served God and him that served him no. Tonight we want to pray that we might all receive the capacity to endure as Joseph received. He was in that dungeon in the very heart of the earth but there was something that kept him bubbling, kept him alive. There were visions he had seen about his glory and he knew that the power of the dungeon was not sufficient to undo the visions that he saw. Oh, so you might be in the dungeon now. Do not lose sight of what the Lord has shown you in the secret place. Somebody needs to cry to him and say, Lord, I believe. Help my unbelief. I believe. I believe. I believe. I believe. I'm not milk. I am wine. I am wine. Time will only reveal how better I am. The process will only reveal how strong I am. I am determined to come out a precious stone, brilliant like diamond, brilliant like onyx. It is black. Onyx is black, but it shines. It glows in its blackness. He will build with precious stones, stones that are tried in the furnace of affliction, stones that are tried in the fires of tribulation, stones that are tried. Are you already weary because of the weight? God is not a man that he should lie, neither is he the son of man that he should repent. I saw him in the hilly Recosibo Conde, Mande Coria, Pilaske Tobe la Cuse da Itema. We believe your voice. The holy machine and for break Bakayo Samolande. Who sapeni mokoda? Blabaka tell ya blaske to be nakadeli. I borose kabalato be nakadia. Like on Basimo Teddy Monveria. Yema mama 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 mama. Yema mama osaka bo osaka bola. Rai Sandeli, Rai Kama Abalaka, Rai La Hasimo Be. Skebola Minas Kibro Pondelia, 
Rabagosa que va pro así. La itabota, la cabosima, la cabosa, 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 la la cabosa, 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 la la cabosa, la la God is not a man that he should love. Come on, Bossi, Mama, Mama, Maya. La Brosca, Bacumba, Mama, Bacambo, Sabaya. Et so, Press, La Prisco, Palabo, Press, Bossila. Redeeming the time. Because the days are evil. Redeeming the time. Redeeming the time. Because the day is time. A couple just got married and after five years in waiting for the fruit of the womb day they come to my office to see me and it's a very delicate situation when you sit in the office of a pastor and you are counseling with people that have a challenge in the fruit of the womb you have to be very careful your words your, because they are already slipping into depression and normally what I do is that I commission a moment of prayer instantly. And God was gracious in, in those days and he gave me an insight. And he said that he has allowed the woman's womb to lie fallow for seven years. Because two prophets will come out of her womb. She will give birth to two sons. But the Sabbath must be declared on the womb to sanctify it. And after which two princes that will carry the scepter for the kingdom come and God fulfilled his word in another case the Sabbath was 15 years when the woman got to 12 years she couldn't wait again she went to meet the priestesses at the lake the ones that speak for the sirens of the water side and they were able to orchestrate conception using some strange eggs. God had said it would take 15 years. So she became hasty at 12 years and made a pact with Satan. Get back to a lady. That looked normal for three years until she became four and five. It was right there in primary school that she was initiated. Because, you know, they know how to orchestrate it. Then at 15, when she was not expecting to give birth again, that promise of God came. But the two sides of the of, of the kingdoms of light and darkness were in her family. <laughs> And you know what happens? Is the, the pastor is the final bus stop. Because pastor must be wise enough to solve problems people created with their hands. That lady she went to seek. They told her that that lady will not live more than 15 years. She said, yes, let me have the child. When the child became 13 years, the demons began to visit her in the dreams. And said, we are taking our property. I said, no, you can't take it. Ah, Took the, the child to church. Kabile Kopes. Mando. Can we can we confirm to God that I'm not in a hurry? <laughs> I've seen men do crazy things because of haste. 
if you know the powers that it determines who lives and who dies in the heavenlies, you will know that we are nothing without God. If you have seen the one that is behind thunder and lightning, if you have seen him, you will know that it is a privilege that we are even born again. I will not be hasty. I will not, I will not use my haste to create, open a door to the devil. I will wait on you. Pledge to him right now. Pledge to him. Pledge to him.